guys and welcome back to my channel Willy Nice Stuff. Today we're going to be doing a ship with me video and let you guys know what sold over the weekend. Um, I will put the dates in the title but by this time you've already clicked the video and you're watching. So I find what solds to be super informative because it tells you what is selling right now on specific platforms and you guys do seem to like these videos as well. So let's just jump right in. Hey guys, I did want to quickly hop on here and let you know the breakdown of the numbers before we get started. So the breakdown is the total amount sold was $1,137. I sold a total of 28 items. So my average sale price per item was $40.60. So let's just get started and I will start telling you guys what exactly sold. Don't forget to like this video if you do like this kind of video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from Willy Nice Stuff. And let's just go ahead and jump right into what sold on eBay first. The first item that sold is this Baby Gap Quilted Puffer Vest. This item sold for $6, which is not much at all, but I did only pay two or three bucks for this item, so... I obviously did only profited like a dollar or something like that, but I am happy to see it go. I've had it in my store for quite a while, probably over a year. Ooh, so I'm just happy to see this one go. How were your sales over the weekend? I would love to know. I'm seriously loving talking to you guys in the comments. I find it so helpful. Everyone's got awesome tips and advice and keep it coming because I do love chatting with you guys in the comments. Mm. Iced coffee. The next item that sold is this Free People Maxi Dress. I did pick this up in a liquidation lot and I paid 12, between 11 and $12 for this item. It retailed for $168 and it sold for $85 bucks plus shipping. Um, I could have gotten more for this item, but I was accepting offers this weekend, just wanting to get stuff moving. So, I did go ahead and accept this offer. The next item that sold is this gray suit. Um, this item retailed for $200 and it was plus size. And I accepted an offer of $90. And I was a little bit... When I went to look up comps on this item to price it, because I've never sold this brand before, I actually saw that the comps were really, really low on eBay. Like... 30 and $40 for a brand new with tag $200 suit. And so I was just like, I'm not going to accept 30 or $40. So I priced it high. I don't know what I priced it at. I think I priced it at 150 um, and then accepted a $90 offer. So that just goes to show you, you shouldn't always base your items, especially on eBay off of comps because, you know, some people have had items in their inventory for a long time and they're just looking to like get it going. So I tend to price my items between, you know, 60 to 80% of retail price and then accept best offer. Um, and I think that's another reason why ThreadUp did so well is because people were pricing their item up to 80% of retail, even pre-owned items and things were selling. So I price all of my items high and then just accept best offer and I did pick this up in the liquidation lot again I paid $12 the next item that sold is this daydreamer t-shirt if you've watched some of my previous videos you know that I am just looking to sell these quickly now they were selling for a lot more in the 50 to 60 dollar range before and the sales have kind of slowed so I'm pretty much accepting all offers and I have maybe a few dozen of these left I did pick them up from Jomar. If you haven't heard of Jomar, go check them out on Instagram. It's J-O-M-A-R. And they are a company out of Philadelphia that sells boxes to resellers. So I have gotten some good and some bad boxes from them, but I do like them overall. And like I said, I picked these up from them and they have been selling great. I think I, I paid $12 per item. And this one sold for 36 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Eileen Fisher basic gray 
t-shirt. I love selling Eileen Fisher. Um, I used to find it at the thrift stores all the time and even pre-owned, it does so well. Even some of the older so styles, they do really, really well. I love selling this brand. This item I actually picked up in liquidation. I paid $12 and it sold for 40. The next item that sold is this Karen Scott white t-shirt dress. I thought I might get a little bit more for this item, but again, I was accepting, accepting offers this weekend and someone sent me an offer for $20 and I accepted. I did pay $12 for this item. So my profit margin was very small, but like I said, I am not all for, you know, the big, I do love the big profiting items, but I also like the bread and butter ones that go really quick. This was only listed for a few days and it sold. So I was happy to see this one go and it is going to Illinois. The next item that sold is this super cute wool sweater from J Crew. I actually picked this one up in a box from Jomar as well. Their J Crew boxes are amazing, like great, great items. I always pick up their J Crew boxes. And um, they are like the box I got was flawed, but um, I would say like 60% of the items in the box were not flawed. So I do love selling J Crew, especially new with tag if I can get it. Um, they do really, really well. The next item that sold is this Maeve shirt, this Maeve top. If you aren't, from, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'm going to call it Maeve. Um, Maeve is sold at Anthropology. It is a super popular brand with Anthropology. It is kind of hard um, to get to know which Anthropology brands to pick up and which to not pick up. I always recommend checking comps, but if you're not familiar, Anthropology is a store that carries like all kinds of different brands. They carry Free People, Maeve, they carry like, oh my gosh, so many different brands. This item in particular actually sat in my store for quite a while. I've had it for over a year. Um, so I normally Maeve sells a lot faster for me, but you know, it is what it is. The next item that sold is this Forever 21 t-shirt dress. This was actually an item that I pulled from my own closet and that I wore and loved. Um, it did sell for 10 bucks, which is not bad considering I only paid like $18 new. Um, I only wore it a couple times. So that's a great tip of advice is to pull stuff from your own closet. That's literally how I started just pulling stuff from my own closet. It doesn't have to be expensive. Obviously Forever 21 sold for 10 bucks. The next item that sold is this white Free People maxi dress. I had a few of these from a liquidation lot and they have all already sold. So this must be, be a really popular style. They all sold for over a hundred dollars. Um, and this is my last one. It sold for 111. I did accept an offer on this item. The last item that sold on eBay is this Sherpa pullover. This was actually an item. Oh my God. Oh. This item was actually one that was my mom's that I sold for her. It didn't sell for a lot because it is just a boutique brand and it sold via the global shipping program with eBay. If you're not signed up for global shipping with eBay, I highly recommend it. Um, it's super convenient for the US sellers because you just ship it to Kentucky. So their warehouse or whatever with eBay, their global shipping warehouse is in Kentucky. So you just pay for shipping to Kentucky and the buyer pays for shipping from Kentucky to them. So it's literally a really great program. And I've sold a lot of items via, via the global shipping program. And one really great perk with that is that you almost never get a return. I've never gotten a return from global shipping and I've sold some expensive items over there and they're paying like crazy amounts for shipping and they're still buying it. So definitely sign up for that if you are not, if you are an eBay seller. Poshmark sales for the weekend were really, really great. We're going to start doing those now. And I sold some great items on here this weekend. I was super happy 
with my Poshmark sales. If you're new to my channel, I did share a video on how I went from $500 to $5,000 a month on Poshmark. I will link that video down below. There's so much good information in that video on how to grow your Poshmark closet. But I will say um, my biggest tip, it, my two top tips are that I list 10 new items to Poshmark every day, seven days a week. And I also use the program Posher VA to share my closet and automatically send offers. That program is amazing. I will link the video that I made on it down below. Definitely go check it out. I think they're even offering a free trial. And if you use my discount code, they will offer you a discount on your first month. So definitely go check out that video. I highly recommend using Posture VA. It has totally changed the game. The first item that sold on Poshmark are these lavender corduroy pants, size 29. These are free people pants. Um, these sold for $42. And I did pick these up in a liquidation lot. So I paid 12 bucks. The next item that sold is this Vince sweater top. I've actually had this item for like two years, I think. I got this when I very first started. I picked it up at the thrift store for five bucks and it sat forever. I probably should have relisted it, but I never did. Um, but yeah, I was so super happy to see this one go. My profit was around $7. So that's not bad, but it did sit for a while. The next item that sold are these blank NYC floral printed jeans. Um, I honestly do not like selling blank NYC unless it is one of their jackets. Their jackets do really, really well, but their jeans will literally sit forever for me. Let me know if you like selling this brand or you know what sells well for you. I Like I said, their jackets will sell in like a week, but their jeans will sit forever. I've had these for a really long time. I think I paid like $18 or something. This was a bad buy. I literally, I think I bought, sorry, I'm rambling. I picked these up in a liquidation lot from eBay during COVID. This was before I found like the good liquidation lots. So I definitely took a loss on this item. I paid, like I said, I think between 18 and $20 and they sat forever. I've had these since the very beginning of COVID. So I did accept an offer of 28 bucks, made some of my money back, but not all of it. I think I took like a two or $4 loss. So happy to see these go. The next item that sold is this blue ombre silk prom dress from BCBG. Normally BCBG does not do well at all for me, but some of their dresses are actually very, very expensive. So do look up comps if you see BCBG. You know, um, I actually picked this up in a Jomar silk box. I've talked about that box before on my channel, but those silk boxes are super good. I got some really high end items and then some bread and butter items and they've also sold super well. Silk is one of those items that's gonna sell all the time because it is silk. Um, so this one, I accepted an offer of $90. I think this dress retailed for almost $400. So it was in um, nearly perfect condition. There were a few marks on the bottom of the dress, but I did disclose that in the listing and it did sell for $90. So I was very happy with this sale. Oh, and my cost of goods for this item was around $5. I did pick it up and a big lot from Jomar, their silk lot, I already said that, but I paid about $5 per item, so that was a really great turnaround. The next item that sold is this Langent's black ribbed knit dress. This I picked up from Jomar as well. You're gonna see a lot of stuff from Jomar. I was ordering very heavily from them over the last year. Before I started, you know, dabbling into liquidation, I did order a ton from them. I do love them as a company. I think overall, they're a really good company and you can get some great items from them. Anyways, I paid $20. No, no, no. I paid $18 for this item. So I did pay up. Um, Lantern's typically sells a little bit higher, but I did want to get some sales going this day. So I accepted an, an offer for $60. So I did still profit on this item and I'm happy to see it go. The next item that sold is this Michael Kors 
leather jacket. It was a black leather jacket, size medium. Um, this one retailed for $250. I picked this up in a liquidation lot for $12. And I did accept an offer of $100 on this item. I probably couldn't have... I probably could have gotten, you know, 150 to 180, but I was accepting offers this day and I just decided to let this one go for 100. It happens. I do this. Let me know if you accept most offers or how you handle offers on your pages. The next item that sold is this limited collection brown pencil skirt. Um, this item was given to me for free. Um, because Jomar actually, um, a box that I had ordered from Jomar, they sent me the wrong items and, um, they just told me to keep them. There was like 12 or something. So this was one of those items. It did sell for $5 and my cost of goods was zero. So I earned $2.05. Even though I typically wouldn't have picked up this brand because I did get it for nothing, I was obviously going to list it and sell it. The next item that sold are these NYDJ jeans. Um, I have talked about this brand before on my channel, but this brand I was actually not aware of until I started doing liquidation. And this brand sells very well for me and it sells pretty fast. Not for a ton of money, you know, between $30 to $50 but it sells, like I said, super, super fast. These sold for $35 and I was very happy to see these go. I paid 12 bucks. The next item that sold are these Bagley, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bagley Mishka red satin pumps. Um, I actually picked these up at a garage sale this like two months ago. Um, I paid $5 and this just goes to show you should pick up all sizes of shoes. This was a very small size, 6.5, and they sold fairly quickly for $75. Like I said, I only paid five bucks. So I definitely recommend this brand. They will have some gorgeous shoes and also some gowns. I do have one of their gowns in my store right now. I also got that item at a garage sale as well, not the same garage sale but I paid $10 for that gown and it will turn a great profit as well. So that is a great item, a great brand to look out for when you're out thrifting or garage selling. Um, such a great brand. The next item that sold is this Def Leppard sweatshirt. This was again from my Daydreamer box with Jomar. I think I paid 12 bucks for this item. So I didn't profit huge on this item. But again, I'm just getting through the last of them and I'm just ready to see these ones go. So I did accept an offer for $31. The next item that sold is this Forever 21 sweater. This item was new with tags. I did pick this item up at the thrift store for $5. So this just goes to show that you don't have to sell high-end brands to make a profit and you can find good items at the thrift store. I thought it was super cute. That's why I picked it up. Um, so my profit on this item was around $12, which is not bad at all. Um, it did take a while to sell, maybe about eight months, but I'm so glad that I picked it up and it was super, super cute. I wish I almost kept it for myself. <laughs> The next item that, that sold was this H&M Velvet Velour Dress. This one was another one of those items that was sent to me by mistake from Jomar. So I did end up selling it for $21 and I did offer a shipping discount. So my profit was $9.35. H&M is a really great brand to sell. They have some they are more like trendy, so they tend to sell pretty quickly if it is a more trendy item. So I do recommend picking up H&M if you can find it for a good price. The next item that sold is this Wrangler George Strait fleece sweater vest in a 2X. Bigger men's sizes sell super fast and for 
a good chunk of money. I would say they're definitely a bread and butter. The brand doesn't necessarily matter, but do look up comps while you're thrifting or outsourcing. But the bigger sizes for men and women do really, really well. Um, this is actually a consignment item, like I said, for my dad. So I will receive 40% of the profit on this item and he will receive 60%. And this item did sell for $24. The next item that sold is this Enza Costa recycled white t-shirt. Um, this sold for $30. I could have probably gotten $50, but I did just accept the offer on this item. I picked this up in a liquidation lot, so I paid $11 for this item. And my profit was $13, so that's not too bad for a basic white t-shirt. The next item that sold is this red Calvin Klein top. It's actually a size 2X, which is a great size to sell. I picked this up in liquidation. I paid $11 and my profit on this item was $5. So not as much, but like I said, I am happy selling the lower profiting items all day long. So was glad to see this one go to its new home. The next item that sold were these Harry Potter knit joggers. I picked these up in a lot from Jomar during COVID and I definitely regret picking these up. But, um, none of them have sold. I think this is the first one that sold. They were from Target, new with tags. So I have like, I don't know, 20 joggers and 20 sweatshirts. So if you're a size small and you're looking for a Harry Potter jogger or sweatshirt, definitely check out my store and send me an offer. I will literally accept whatever offer. I just want to see these go. Um, my profit on this item was a dollar and five cents. So I did still profit, but like I said, I would not pick these up again. They have sat forever. I thought surely they would do well because you know, people like Harry Potter, but I don't know. Definitely a bad buy <laughs> and it happens. And I'm here to tell you guys, you know, be transparent and let you know exactly what's going on. The last item that sold over the weekend is this Free People, are these Free People white pants. They're like the super trendy flare leg high rise jeans that are super in right now. These sold for $54. I did pay $11 for these and so not bad of a profit. I think I made 24 bucks profit on these items, on these jeans. Sorry, I can't talk. Okay guys, so that is it. That's everything that sold over the weekend. I am so excited about this channel. We are growing super fast. We're already at like 270 subscribers, which is so cool. I am so pumped. Um, I do plan on doing a giveaway once we get to a thousand subscribers. So. If you do like this content, definitely like this video, subscribe to this channel. I will be posting videos every single week and I'm super excited for what's to come. So let me know down in the comments how your sales were this weekend and some of your bread and butter items that sell all the time for you. I would love to know. And yes, I will see you guys in another video later this week. Bye!